Take a moment for yourself Get close with the lights down low You and I and no one else I get the feeling that I wanna explode Good morning, sleepyhead. Today's the first day of school. We need to get up and get ready. Are you excited? Yes? Shall we read about it first? Okay. Look at this. It says, wake up, Lila. It's time for school. The clock chimes 6 o'clock a.m. Lila, wake up, Lila. It's time to wake up, said Dad. Lila opened one eye and then the other. She looked at Dad, closed one eye and then the other. She snuggled back into her bed. She hid under the comforter. I don't want to, she mumbled. Why do I have to, she grumbled. But Dad pulled the comforter off. Sorry, honey, the clock is ticking. School is calling, don't you hear? She wiggled, she stretched, she bent to touch her toes. She hopped on one foot, and then she sat down at her Chromebook to start her day. Good morning, Granite Bay Grizzlies. I'm your principal, Jennifer Layton, and I'd like to welcome you to Granite Bay Goes Live, featuring your favorite drama teacher and mine, Mr. Kyle Holmes. Go Grizzlies! School. Welcome to GB Live, where we'll be meeting your new teachers and faculty members of this school year. Uh, our first guest today is Mr. Reed Bartlett. Hi, Mr. Bartlett. Thanks for joining us today. You're very welcome. This isn't usually how we meet our new teachers, but uh, we appreciate you accommodating and being here. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Uh, so, Mr. Bartlett, what are you most looking forward to this school year at Granite Bay High School? I'm really looking forward to figuring out ways to incorporate technology with learning, and especially teaching music, a hands-on skill. So I'll be teaching guitar and choir. Awesome. And that was going to be my first question, but I forgot. Uh, okay. But that's, what are you doing at Granite Bay High School this yeah. year? I'm going to be a guitar and choir teacher with Susanna Peoples, who is not over there. But. He, he is. <laughs> uh, yes, playing in the GB Live house the band. The GB Live house band. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Um, Mr. Bartlett, do you have a really um, funny or embarrassing memory from your time in high school? Uh, anything that. Oh, in high school? Anything uh, <laughs> that you would be mortified for your future students to learn about you? Yes. Great, thank you. Yeah. So. Um, Anything else you'd like to share with us about yourself that you're excited for your students to know about you? Um, anything like that? You know what? I'm just a easygoing, fun guy, and I love music, and I love the young people because I, I am a young person. So, yeah, that's all. That's all I wanted to say. Miss May, did you did you get that he's young? Did you catch that? I, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Young and easygoing. I heard. Young and easygoing. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Barlett, thank you so much for being here with us today, and I'm sure your students can't wait to meet you. Yes, thank you. Wow, Mrs. May. Wow. I got nothing. We're off to a great start here. <laughs> well, this is going well. This is great. This is, this is... Good turnout. 
Uh, Mrs. May, who who's up there in the stands with you today? Uh, just, you know, uh, you. Uh, you apparently decided to join us. Handsome in, uh, devil. In the audience here we have uh, Mr. Kinney. Uh, Mr. Del is awfully quiet today, though. He hasn't, he hasn't you know, we haven't heard a lot from Mr. Del Ordo. Yeah, he's been kind of quiet. <laughs> great, yeah, great. Great Ms. crew over here. Is Mr. Valentine, is he, uh, is he sleeping? Is, are his eyes closed? <laughs> he might be taking a nap. Okay, yeah. okay. Not wow. Fair. What a turnout. Um, definitely the, the most well-behaved opening assembly we've ever had. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, band, how, uh, how, how, how's, how's it going up there? This is the best I've sounded on trumpet in 15 years. This is, is this the first time you've picked up the trumpet in 15 years? For this long, pretty much. This is the best I've sounded on trombone today. Mrs. Lewis finally gets to play her grizzly green trombone for an official event. This is also the best I've sounded on a trombone. This is the... Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Granite Bay High School, our next guest today is Mr. Gerald Hifner. I think they thought you were going to walk slower. But I noticed that. Yeah, that's it was okay. a slow version. Um, a Mr. Hifner, older. welcome. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you. What are you teaching this year? Uh, math and business. So mostly I'll have, uh, I am one in math and all the principles of business in the business department. Wonderful. Where do you come to Granite Bay High School from? Uh, last at Franklin High School. I've been in the Elk Grove Unified School District uh, for the last 22 years. So I know nothing about business. I'd like to learn about business. If you could teach me like your favorite business lesson, <laughs> what would that be about? Uh, my favorite lesson I'm sure is uh, shopping for a house on Zillow. <laughs> That's and, perfect. My and, wife is a realtor, and I oh, should probably learn what you're about to tell me. She could probably teach you at home. Uh, eh. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> keep, uh, keep family and, keep, and work separate, right? <laughs> keep it separated. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then after finding a house, the reality check is actually putting it into a monthly payment spreadsheet where they find out how much you would actually have to pay for that for 30 years or if it's 15, and then realizing the value of money. So there's, there's a lot to learn there. I have to know, are Zestimates accurate? <laughs> I think they're underpriced. Okay, I, yeah. so round up. I, I would always say round up a little bit. Unless your you house, get a great deal. Your house is worth more, Mrs. May, That's than you sent me. That's for me. Yes. I, I check it frequently just to see. Yeah. Great. You, you update. You've got, you've got uh, search alerts for your Zestimate increase. Yeah. Great. Um, uh, are you coaching in January with I us? I will be coaching freshmen with Coach Cooper. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm excited. Anything else you'd like for your future students to know about you before they meet you in Zoom on Wednesday? I can't wait for everyone to be back in the classroom, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll make the best of Zoom, um, but I love the interaction in the classroom. I like making the classroom fun. Uh, so I'm a little disappointed I don't get to meet them in person to start off with. Uh, but I'm looking forward to being back in the classroom with students. Excellent. Thank you for being with us today. We appreciate you taking the time, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. <laughs> Granite Bay High School, our next guest is Mr. Shane Jackson. Mr. Jackson, welcome to GB Live. Thank you. Glad you're here today. Appreciate what it. What will you be teaching this semester? I'll be teaching special education. I'm an Accolab teacher, um, and I'll be doing testing prep in the spring. Wonderful. And where do you come to us from? Uh, the last 18 years as a teacher at Cordova High School, and then I was 25 years as their head coach for track and field. How did, and how did your teams do? Um, I've won seven section titles. Congratulations. Uh, Are you planning on coaching with us? Yeah, I've already been hired as, to okay. be one of the coaches. so yes. <laughs> um, who's Trixie? We adopted a disabled black and white French bulldog. So she doesn't have full control of her back legs, but she still gets around 100% and just an amazing little dog. Does your, does your audience have any opinions on any of this? <laughs> Great, we'll keep going. Um, 
I see here in my notes that you're a One Direction fan. Yeah, I am. I've seen them in concert a few times. So had it was um, the song Secrets. A friend of ours played it while we hiked two mile hike into a waterfall in Hawaii and got married on a beach next to the whole, um, waterfall and that was playing. That's amazing. And I don't think the other people's favorite song stories are gonna be as good as that. <laughs> do, do you guys know it? You guys know Wonder, okay, great. You might get some walkout music that's awesome. Wonder Chanel. <laughs> That's it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Mr. Jackson, what are you most looking forward to this school year at Granite Bay High School? Just new people, new experiences, you know, change of pace, change of just everything. Um, you know, with the COVID and everything and how change has, we've had to come to forefront with um, technology. I wanted to help develop and bring technology into the special education classroom. Thank you so much for being here today, and we're gonna play you out with more One Direction. Thank you. It's, it's One Direction, Mrs. May. It's One Direction. GBHS, our next guest today, you're in for a treat. It's Ms. Lauren Zadibble. Ms. Zadibble, welcome yes. to Granite Bay High School. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure. What will you be teaching with us this school year? Well, I will be the teacher librarian in the library, so I will be teaching whatever it is that uh, the teachers here at Granite Bay need me to teach their kids. So, you know, uh, how to write a good uh, citation sheet, how to um, use the internet well to evaluate your internet sources, how to use databases, you name it. I'm your information literacy queen. What's your professional opinion on Wikipedia? Okay, now you're gonna be surprised. Are you ready for this? I don't mind Wikipedia. Same, we're in it's, the same camp. It's come a long way, baby, because it used to be not so good. It was a little sketchy, but they have really increased um, their demand for citation. Yeah. Um, and also I would say it's a starting place. It's not where you go for all your deep research. It is your starting place that will launch you into Into research. the references at the bottom, which is then your deep research. Exactly. And sometimes yep. you need to know what you don't know before you can really dive in. It's got such a bad rep that's really followed it from the early 2000s. This like anyone can edit it. It's not reliable. But exactly. That's just not true anymore. N not so much anymore. Yeah. But like I said, check, double check. We're, Get on, your resources. we're on the same page. <laughs> um, where do you come to us from? Um, I come to you from Roseville High School. I've been in the district for 34 long years. This is my 34th year. Um, and I will still be at Roseville also. So I am sharing uh, library duties with both Roseville High School and Granite Bay High School. So I have all my years of experience there. I was an English teacher for 18 years, jumped into the library in about 2006 and now I'm jumping in here. Speaking of all of your years of experience, mm -hmm. we uh, have a surprise for you here today. You do. M one of your ex-students is a teacher here. No. And that would be Mrs. May, who's uh, with our audience in the back of the gym here. Mrs. May, you took English from I did. our guest. Yeah. Get back. Uh, I believe it was honors English. 10, and 11? Naturally. Uh, honors English 10, I think, yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, what year? Careful. Uh, 2006, <laughs> 2005? Mrs. May, the reviews are, are positive yeah, for our actually, new librarian. I mean, I'm an English teacher, and she was my English teacher, so something So worked. we can blame her yeah, for, she's okay. Yeah, probably why I like her so far. Great. What is COVID life? been like for you so you wow. with the rest of us went home on march 13th well yes and no you know i have a huge library okay. at roseville high school and i had my daughter coming back from school and my husband was working from home and our poor bandwidth didn't really like that so i actually spent almost every day in the library alone i could get a ton of work done there 
Um, and so work just kind of went on. COVID stunk, let's be real. It still stinks. Yep. Um, it ruined plans for our graduation at UCSB for our daughter. Oh, um, it ruined other trips that we had. But you know what? On the other hand, my daughter was home. We did a lot of hiking. We spent a lot of time together. That's all good. So, you know, obviously we all want to get back to normal. Sure. So that would be great. Um, I would love to travel because that's my thing. And I just feel like I didn't get to really do anything this summer that was special. So well, I'm but looking you're, forward you're here to now, that. and that's special. That's very special. Being in our opening day rally. Yeah, definitely. Great. Um, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for being with us today, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the school year. Hey, uh, Ben, can you guys not play off our guests when I'm in the middle of interviewing them? Oh, but it's so funny. Okay. Uh, Granite Bay High School, our next guest is Mr. Austin Lundquist. <laughs> Mr. Lundquist, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. Uh, where do you come to us from? I've been at Antelope High School the past seven years, so just shifting over inside the district. Wonderful. And what will you be teaching this school year? Uh, in the fall, I'll have health and U.S. history, and then in the spring, I'll have health and social psychology. So you knew Mrs. Layton when she was at Antelope. I did. She hired me there. Um, Tell us a little about yourself. Family, hobbies, what's yeah, I got uh what's three the deal? kids under five. So three under five? Yeah. So Charlie's five, uh, Mason's three, and Dax is one. So full house. I just had my first child. Congrats. Eleven weeks old. What advice would you give me as a veteran? Uh, definitely a veteran, you know, five years in. Yep. Uh, I would say don't multitask when you're parenting. Okay. I get the most frustrated when I'm trying to do something else and take care of Dax if you just focus on parenting and save whatever it is for later. So the opposite of teaching then? Uh, yeah. Basically. Okay. Got it. Um, gosh. How's COVID life been for you? You know, it's, it's actually been pretty good. Uh, I like to look for the silver lining in things and uh, lots of great family time. We got some trips up to Tahoe and Santa Cruz still. Uh, I started some new hobbies. I started uh, yoga. It was on my list of things to ask you okay, about. Okay, yeah, I'm not good at all, but. Okay. Yeah. Are you performing at home right now? Like oh, laying yeah, the definitely. mat out and. Yeah, I got this app and so you sit the butts in and the person does stuff and you follow along. My kids like to do it too. So. Great. Uh, yeah, Mason likes to do it in his underwear. So he just kind of right. falls over. Just tumbles and, around. Yeah, but uh, it's fun. I started cooking. That's fun. What has gone best for you in cooking? Best. Um, I've only set the smoke alarm off twice. Okay. So that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, the food's pretty good. I'm pleasantly surprised. My wife likes it. She said it's my favorite new hobby that I have of hers. So that's good. She likes you cooking more than you doing yoga. Ah, uh, yes. Definitely, okay. Definitely. Great. Um, Mrs. May, do you have any thoughts on any of this? Um, I like food as well, so <laughs> welcome, you know, home cooking. What, even, in, even in COVID, we would? To our distance. Okay, maybe not, not, yeah. Distance, <laughs> distance cooking? Maybe not now, but you know, okay. in the future, I mean, hopefully he's here for the long haul, right? Well, as long hopefully. as Mrs. Layton's principal, it sounds like that's going to happen. <laughs> Mr. Lundquist, thank you for your time. We're looking forward to having you be a grizzly. Thanks for having me. Take care. Granite Bay High School, our next guest is none other than our newest assistant principal, Miss Stanley. What was that? <laughs> but it, like your 17th time playing it. Which, oh, I was going to say, which means you should be warmed up by now. 
<laughs> Miss Stanley, welcome to GB Live and Thank Granite you. Bay High School. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. Where you. are you coming to us from? Um, so I am coming from Antelope High School. I actually taught there for the last six years um, as an English teacher. So that was one of my last assignments. So I'm so excited uh, to transition over and become part of the Grizzly family. This is awesome. So you also knew Mrs. Layton at Antelope High School? Um, I didn't actually. We actually kind of crossed paths. I think I sort of joined the team once and she had just left and I okay. just came on. So we were kind of like strangers in the night for a minute. Ms. Stanley, what do you think is the most important part of being an assistant principal? Oh my goodness gracious. Um, this is an interview. Yes, I know. I'm so, I'm ready. Um, so for me, the most important piece to being an assistant principal, I think, is just being there to support everybody here on campus. I think that, you know, as an assistant principal, there are some expectations for yes leadership, yes answers. But ultimately, my role is to try to support um, everyone on campus, support teachers so that they can do their job well, to support students so that they can get the answers that they need, and just help everyone, all systems, to really kind of move in the right and the positive direction so that all of us consistently on campus are sort of looking in the same direction, right, on a common goal. And so that's really my hope um, as an assistant principal to be able to do that. That was such a thorough answer. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, well, gosh, now we need to humanize you a little bit so the kids <laughs> just aren't scared of you. What else would you love for Granite Bay High School to know about you before uh, we dive in? Um, let's see. Um, I have a lot of experience. So I was actually a classroom teacher for a lot of years. So this is actually um, my, I was uh, teaching for 25 years before I made the leap um, to assistant principal. So this is my first year as that. I have loved being an educator. I just um, love teaching, um, love high school. I taught English for many, many years. Um, so that could explain my long answers. I, I, I'm a I word chick. That's my thing. Well, we're glad you're here. Thank and you. congratulations on supervising your first welcome day assembly. Thank you so uh, much. It's going very well. The yeah. most well-behaved assembly we've ever had. This is amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's uh, been amazing. <laughs> Looking forward to talking to you more this year. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you the bet. time. All right. Band? A awesome. new song, maybe? <laughs> no? No new song? <laughs> We're just going to. Just the hits. Only the hits for you, Miss Stanley. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Um. Band, do you know any journey? Journey. Don't Don't Stop Believing is the favorite song of our next guest, which is Miss Wallace. So close. So close. It's, Appreciate it. it's the only song they know. And that's our music staff. So, uh, Ms. Wallace, thank you for being here. Thank Where you are you joining us from? Where uh, do you come to Granite Bay High School from? I'm coming straight from Antelope. Apparently they, uh... Another Antelope hire? <laughs> Secret club. What will you be teaching at Granite Bay High School I'm this year? I'm gonna teach health. Health? I'm, yep, I've been teaching health for 12 years, so... Um, my favorite subject, I just make sure, you know, changes every day and... We're obviously in a little bit of a health crisis health right now. Health changes so. every day? Yeah, your decisions. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, did you, before you were teaching health for the past 12 years, were you teaching anything else? Were you substitute teaching? You know, I, I, I came back from college. I got my master's in health education. And then um, I started coaching softball at Roseville with my okay. sister. She's a teacher at Roseville. Okay. Um, saw her life and I was like, dude, she's got a family at school and I was, you know, and she's making obviously an impact on these kids. And I said, I need to follow that. You know, I was a softball player all my life. And so coaching was kind of like the draw, right? And um, so I went back and got my credential and when Antelope opened. Wonderful. Will you be coaching softball here? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Great. You were a substitute. You did substitute at some point. Did you? Yeah. I mean, 
I substituted after I got my stu- or you know student teaching. I'm only I'm only asking because Mrs. May actually had you as a sub. Oh well, I was the most popular sub um, at Roseville. Mrs. Was- May, is this true? Yeah. I'm old. You would, you would beg <laughs> teachers to to sign her up as a sub. <laughs> Thank you, teachers to sign her up. I'm not that's, that's a pretty glowing review. Yeah, we loved her. <laughs> Anything you want your students to know about you before they meet you today? You heard it here first, <laughs> folks. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, any, <laughs> anything else that, that you are just itching to throw out there into the world? No, I'm, 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 I'm ready to meet, I'm ready to meet these kids and I'm ready to be part of a new culture and I'm, I'm super excited. Just, yeah. We're excited to have you. Thanks, Welcome thanks. to Granite Bay High School. Thank you for being here today. Thank you so much. <laughs> See, that's what he'll add in as your answer. <laughs> Granite Bay High School, our next guest is Mrs. Lowry. Mrs. Lowry, welcome to GB Live. Hello, I'm glad to be here. (laughs) Thank you for being here. Um, What are you teaching this year? So I'm teaching the functional skills program here at Granite Bay High School. Wonderful. And how did you find your way to Granite Bay High School? What was before this for you? Well, before I was in a small elementary school district called Robla Elementary School, kind of by Rio Linda, uh, where I knew uh, Miss Daly, who is also a teacher here at Granite Bay High School. Love her. She's great. And uh, I taught there for four years. And then uh, I was in Twin Rivers two a year before that. And now I'm here at high school, making a big jump to doing high school from elementary. Yeah, we, you're gonna love our students. They're amazing. You have a daughter. I do, yes. Who's one. Yeah, she's one. She's very active, um, loves dogs and cats. Uh, I sang a lot of Baby Shark this summer. I read a lot of Brown Bear, Brown Bear, stuff like that. Uh, (laughs) Mrs. May also has a one-year-old daughter. I do. What are you looking forward to most this school year, being at Granite Bay High School? Uh, I'm looking forward the most to being on a high school campus and everything that Granite Bay has to offer. We have so many, you know, activities and clubs, especially once we're all back here on campus to, um, and getting uh, my students involved um, and making them a part of this campus and having, creating a really nice, meaningful experience for them. Um, so I'm really excited for that and for, awesome. um, to create some inclusion opportunities and, um, and yeah, get started. Yeah. This is, this is not what our normal opening day assembly looks like usually. Probably a few more people, right? A few more people. The couch yeah. is still there, but yeah, a few more people. <laughs> um, excellent. What else? Is there anything else you'd like for your students to know about you before they get to meet you today? Um, just that, you know, I'm here for them, especially if they ever have any questions about special education and um, our students that have disabilities are on campus with us. Um, I know that they're going to be, you know, around campus and in electives with them. So uh, me and Miss Daly are here uh, if they ever have any questions. And yeah, you know, I'm, I, uh, I'm really excited to be here, to be a Grizzly. Um, I'm originally, let's see, from Galt High School. Um, And now I'm here in Granite Bay, and um, I'm just excited. Wonderful. Well, we're excited you're here. Thank you for stopping by and looking forward to a great school year. Thank you. They'll play you out with a new song, I think. (laughs) Granite Bay High School, our next guest is none other than Mr. Jacob Mercado. Uh, hi, Mr. Marcotta. Welcome to Granite Bay High School. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. Uh, unlike some of our other guests, you're not joining us actually on the couch. Where are you joining us from? Uh, as you can see from my office here that I stopped by, uh, I'm in Scranton, Pennsylvania, um, home of the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. And uh, it's my former boss, Michael Scott's uh, Certificate of Achievement there. So. Amazing. As much as that I can say right now. Amazing. Mr. Marcato, what will you be teaching this semester at Granite Bay High School? Uh, this semester, I'm going to be teaching biology. Wonderful. And where do you come from? How did you make your way to Granite Bay High School? 
Um, so I'm initially from the Bay Area. I was born and raised in Milpitas, which is right next to San Jose. Um, and I went to San Jose State for my degree and my credential. Uh, I spent the last eight years teaching in Eastside San Jose at Mount Pleasant High School. And me and my wife just decided that we wanted to buy a home, and that's not something we can do in the Bay Area. I applied for a job at Granite Bay and, and really loved uh, what I saw when I was researching the high school and uh, had an interview and a couple of days later got a job offer to come teach here at Granite Bay. So I'm really excited. Amazing. Well, we're excited to have you. Um, what is something you would love for your students to know about you before they uh, get to meet you today in Zoom? Um, uh, I think... A lot of my students in the past have described me as I'm a tough teacher, but I'm fair and I'm a funny teacher. And so um, I try to balance all those things out. And so hopefully in my class, you're not only going to learn, but you're going to laugh and get to know who I am and, and uh, just the kind of person I am and, and the kind of heart that I have for my students. Amazing. Well, thank you for your time today. We're excited to have you be a part of the Grizzly family and welcome. Thank you. Thanks so much. Cool. And now Granite Bay High School. A very special word from Principal Layton. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. I thought maybe um, I'd write a few thank you notes to kind of send my uh, gratitude out. Is that okay with you? You are, in fact, my boss, so yes, it is. Okay. Hmm. Let me think. <laughs> Thank you, Grand Bay High School students, for waking up earlier than 4 p.m. for the first time in five months to join us here today. Yeah, you know, because I think they've been kind of up all night. Yep. Yeah. Call of Duty. Okay, let's see. Who else could I thank? Thank you, Grizzly Bear mascot person, for running around soundlessly year after year. But I just want to hear your voice once. Just once, because you, you know the grizzly bear never talks, Mr. Holmes. Built-in PPE, though. And I, I worry about them. No face mask required. Okay, okay. Let's see. Thank you, Granite Bay High School teachers, for zooming from your very lonely classrooms, but loving every minute of it because yeah it's kind of hard to to teach from classrooms you know but we miss our kids but very different awesome. let's see thank you Granite Bay high school students for social distancing wearing masks and not jumping the fence when the gates are locked Enough said about that one, probably. We don't need to incriminate anyone today. Let's see. One more, because I really am feeling a lot of gratitude. Um, hmm. Thank you, Granite Bay High School students and teachers, for making me the proudest mama bear in the world. And Go Grizzlies! Granite Bay High School, that's all the time we have today. Thank you for joining us and meeting your new faculty members. Please stick around and enjoy the slideshow of everything the teachers were up to this summer. We will see you all on Zoom soon.